Tonight, people in Buckhead pressing us to get answers after this geyser erupts, sending water shooting into the air and gushing everywhere as the temperatures are plunging. Joby Tracy was the first to tip us off on Twitter about this icy mess on Rivers Road. When I went to check it out for myself uh, tonight, around five neighbors told me they had been complaining about it all afternoon. I can feel the mist right now. You oh, yeah, yeah, I feel the mist, definitely. And I'm, my feet are sliding from all the ice. Yeah. And, and also uh, for these cars that are coming down the street really quickly. Yeah, not sure that. This is going to get dangerous pretty quickly. Yes. Now, are you concerned about trying to get down your driveway tomorrow morning? Oh, I've uh, moved the cars down. There's no, I don't think there's any way we're going to get out in the morning. All right, Faith Bube out there. Faith, what's it like right now? And that dramatic scene you just saw play out in that video is now gone. What's left behind is a wet street that's starting to freeze over, but you can see crews have been able to put some salt down, which is helping the situation. But take a look here. We have a mailbox, several mailboxes in this neighborhood now covered in ice. The city has shut off the water supply, so the six inch water main can now be repaired. This has now interrupted water service to about 35 homes and three fire hydrants. Despite neighbors telling 11 Alive the water started gushing around two and they called the city. A city spokesperson says they weren't notified until around six o'clock this evening. Right now, they haven't said when the repairs will be done, but we're told they are here, they are working on this, and they expect more of this to happen across the city as we continue to hover around freezing tonight. All right, Faith, this wasn't the only icy spot causing problems tonight. There's also that water leaking Kennesaw. It's being blamed for a slick spot that caused some motorcycle officers to crash. That accident injured three Cobb County police officers, and tonight the Cobb County Communications Director Ross Cavett tells me that one officer is still in the hospital with serious injuries. It's my understanding he, he was banged up quite a bit. He had some broken bones, a lot of bruises and contusions, uh, was rushed to Kennestone Hospital where he was uh, stabilized pretty quickly. It's going to take a while before he gets back on a motorcycle, but he's expected to be okay. Here are some of the incredible pictures Cavett shared with us from the scene around 1245 this afternoon on Kennesaw Road due west. Six Cobb County police officers were on their motorcycles. They were riding back from a funeral detail. Three of the officers hit a patch of ice and lost control. A fourth officer was struck by the other bikes but didn't get hurt. County crews say the icy patch was caused by a service line that was leaking. They tell us no one reported it and they had no idea until the officers hit that icy patch this afternoon. Tonight, the line has been repaired, the ice scraped, and salt and sand put down. But all of this, a stark reminder of how quickly conditions can deteriorate, and it becomes very dangerous when you have conditions like this and a water leak on the road, Vinny. All right, thanks so much, Faith. Appreciate it.